A clear, unequivocal message from the Jordanian armed forces on Thursday, flying missions over Raqqa, they say, in Syria and indeed Iraq, uh, degrading and destroying ISIS assets on the ground. Let's take a look at what are these defining images over the past 24 hours. I've got a set of three for you because I think this clearly points out both sides of what's going on here. Uh, the video images that our viewers uh, will see of the destruction, the airstrikes on Raqqa. Uh, some 30 fighter jets we were told in the air um, and they uh, were successful. They destroyed their targets and all re returned home safely. So that's the first set of images. I want to get our viewers a second set of images now because these released shortly after uh, the uh, infrared images that were released uh, by the armed forces here and these released by ISIS as part of their ongoing propaganda campaign and a set of images that so, uh, show purportedly show children, young children in classrooms in Raqqa. They say, this is ISIS, that they have opened uh, 24 schools, uh, 12 for boys and 12 for girls, uh, giving the impression, one assumes, or certainly uh, what they want to do is give the impression that life continues as normal in what is this hotbed of ISIS activity in northern Syria. And then another image which I think perhaps sums up what has been going on here uh, in Jordan over the past, uh, what, 48 to 72 hours since the gruesome video of the murder of that young pilot was released. And this of Queen Rania, King Abdullah's wife, um, with the mother of the downed pilot.